Hello everyone, this is John from More Jeepney and I'm here with Manong Guard and Jam Jam. Jam Jam and we're playing Bushido. This is a 100 point rice game. My Ito Clan versus Jam's Savage Wave. And we are playing the Envoy. Our mission is to damage the opponent's Envoy, for your Envoy to not receive any damage, and for your Envoy to get to the opponent's deployment zone. My deployment zone will be here, 6x6 square, and Jams will be over there, 6x6 square. Over at my side, I have Itsunagi over here, Satoshi, Masunagi, Jade Mamba Guard, I have Chiyo and the Temple Bushi, and she has nominated my uh, main guy, Itsunagi, as the person she has to damage and hopefully kill. While she has over here a couple of Bushi, some with bows, some beaters. Uh, what are the other ones? We have. <laughs> no, not, those guys are not included, because they're too cheaty. And this one is Chapeng, and we have here Zuba who I have nominated as my target and hopefully inflict a number of wounds. So here is our table and we will start with our deployment. My Ito clan guys are already deployed. Jam Savage Wave is deployed and we will roll for initiative. I get a 1, she gets a 2 and she will determine who starts first. Either around the forest. And those guys move four inches. Four inches. For my activation, I will move my Jade Mamba Guard 7.5. It will get him right here in front of the pier like thing. Okay. I'm moving the archer four inches forward. And she has moved her archer. Are you shooting? I am. And she is shooting, so six uh, inches. Getting him over there. I will activate Matsunagi, who will run 7.5 inches to that spot there beside my Satoshi, who has fallen again due to the imbalance of my uh, modeling nice technique. Is moving. Illegally pre measured the run sorry, and changed it sorry, to a sorry. walk action. <laughs> and I will use Itsunagi to run over there. Bakemana with the spear runs for I'll use my temple bushi to move, just walk. And since I'm passing to the road, it's a seven inch walk, it'll get me to that spot over there. Sixteen. Exhausted. I'm now run token and exhausted. So for the turn one recap, most of my guys just ran forward. Temple Bushi has already ran and moved, getting him to that road. Bakemonos have also moved forward, but Zuba is still there in place. Range. So move four. So we will just move four. The bow Bakemono is targeting my Jade Mamba, and she will need a six to hit. And it is a miss. Three plus one plus one, so that is just a five. It's a miss. And it now has a reload marker, and we'll have to reload for it to shoot again. Okay, so this is what happened in turn one. I just run, ran all my guys forward. Uh, she moved her Bushi forward, tried to make a couple of range attacks, but missed. And now it is her turn, and she is going to charge in Zuba. with her big Oni Zuba. And I think she's going to target this guy over here. Let me just... Charge 10. Charge 10. Okay. So Zuba makes a charge and my Jade Mamba uses her bodyguard ability and swaps places with Satoshi. So she's taking the attack now. She has a run token and is exhausted so I only have one dice and here's what I'm using. And we will now roll off. I have a 3. She has a 3, 4, 5 so she's dealing a base of 2 damage right now. 2 damage plus uh, 2d6 plus modifiers. Oh, 3d6, and she has to choose the two highest. So base 2, and that is a Six. plus 1. So after recomputing, that massive charge deals 5 damage and kills the Jade Mamba, even though it has an armor of 2. 
But at least I was able to save my uh, head samurai guy over there. Now after the charge, this Oni uh, gets another activation token because she plays an upgrade called Youthful Aggression. And now this Oni has the chance to move forward and strike probably Itsunagi over there. So Zubal make a use the activation to make a ranged attack against uh, Itsunagi. I'm strike. Uh, but what it does is it will not deal any damage, but it will uh, make him prone, which is bad for melee. So she will need a six to hit uh -huh. on three dice, and he is prone. So here's the board state at the end of turn one. A couple of guys ran forward. Trapeng just move over here. Charge killed uh, Jade Mamba Guard, made a range attack, and now Itsunagi is prone. And we will now roll for initiative. I have one dice for initiative, and I believe Savage Wave has uh, an ability. Uh, what's that? Future. Roll, Future. roll Future two. Sight. Future Sight. So we have here our opposed initiative. I make a two, and she wins Seven. initiative. Seven. That sucks. Okay, I'm gonna do turn 2 starts with the Savage Wave and at the start of the turn, Chapeng here, he has the ability to stun uh, one enemy model and stun Itsunagi there. So he is now prone and stunned. And then now the big guy Oni activates and charges Itsunagi. I'm spending all my 6 key, increasing my dice pool and giving myself the parry plus 1 to my defense. And we're now going to roll off. I've allotted my dice this way and I think that is all on attack let's see what happens I have a very bad roll eight it's a total of eight what I will do is I'll use my uh, prowess melee and re-roll this and I will ask my I use my dodge ability please re-roll the six over there And it becomes so Itsunagi gets a total of 3 damage, but I have an attack and an opposed attack of 2. So 2 plus my damage modifier of 4, 4 plus 1 is 5, 5 minus 1, so I just deal 1 damage to the Oni. Tough one. And it's tough one, so it does not deal any damage at all. For my turn, I get... Masunagi to charge the big Oni there. She doesn't have any more key, I believe. One, to, key. Oh, yeah. one key, but not enough maybe to do anything. And I'm spending two of my key to give myself cleave, which gives me brutal two. And I am on four dice. And I have allotted my dice this way, going all aggressive, all defense. And let's see what happens. So, uh, I have a, I have an eight. On one. And I have one, but I'm brutal two, so I am up three. Three plus my modifier. Minus one. Modifier is, uh, this is right now three. I have charge two, and I have no dachi two. So plus four. Plus four is a seven. So it is zero, so I just deal uh, three damage, but he is tough one. So I deal two damage to the Oni. Okay, so correction, I have Itsunagi's Gambit, so I deal a total of 3 damage instead. And a while ago, the Oni has Brutal, so it should have 1 more damage to Itsunagi instead of 3. Okay. The Spear Bushi is making a charge action through the water. Attacking Chiyo. I spend 2 key on Lightning Reflexes. Now I'll my dice this way. There. Defense. And I have sidestep defense. I'm all defense. You're all defense. So you successfully defend. There's no need to roll. Uh -huh. I will successfully uh, defend. And since my defense is successful, I can move my model away until it leaves the zone of control. Away and not directly away. So I'll move one inch away oh, from you. Do you have so for the away and directly away, we'll just resolve this in the traditional roll-off, whoever is highest. If she wins, I'll have to move directly away, mm. as in terms of other games. But if I win, I get to abuse the rule. I'm a four, I'm a three, I get to abuse the rule. Yes, because this is a martial arts game, I get to do ninja moves and okay. move Chiyo 
uh, until I leave the zone of control. So I until I leave the zone of control. So until there. <laughs> so yes. So this. So pwede ka pa is ninja. Dito. Actually, pwede nga eh. No, no, no. The zone of control is only until 180. the 180. Ah, eh. okay. So un- until I get past the 180. Okay. So for my activation, since I did that super martial arts ninja move there, melee. okay, I will move uh, five inches, get into melee and. Uh, kill that Bakemono character. So since I did my cheaty ninja move there, and I attempted to attack Chapeng, Jam also uh, concealed an ability and did her own <laughs> cheaty move. And because Chapeng is camouflage, you cannot actually Basically. enter, uh, get into base contact unless you're within three inches, I believe, camouflage three. So that was two. camouflage within two. two, within two. So that was an illegal move. I will have to do something else. Okay, so what I'll do instead is I will use Satoshi to try to get into base contact with the Oni to gang up on it. But Trapeng is using his uh, snare ability and will prevent him from moving unless I make a seven. Uh, seven on my three dice. And here we go. And I six. make a six. Oh. <laughs> and he is stuck there and he loses an activation, yes. I believe. Yes. So. He is ensnared, and it's now Jam's turn. So the Bakemono just reloads, and for my turn, I will spend again to try to walk and get melee. into melee. Spending two again using the Bakemono Horde uh, key, combined key. So I need a seven. Here goes, seven. Six, seven. Seven, okay, I make it. So he gets to move around here makes a walk and will perform a melee exchange. So defender does not spend any key. I spend key to increase my dice pool from three to four. And I allot my dice this way. Okay, and we start and we make our rolls. I have a five and a defense of two. Up three. Do I have prowess? Let me just check. Yes, I do. So I will. Reroll this. Up four. So I'm um, now up four. Um, I can reroll. Yes, Jam is checking on her rules. After uh, once per game, after a dice roll has been made, you yeah. may choose one of the dice used to be rerolled. I reroll this. Okay. Rerolls her one with her ability. Six. So it's now a six. It's to my six. Six. Uh, so. Yeah, but I rolled more dice, so I'm dealing a uh, zero plus. Modifier. So that's an eight. I my spear gives me plus two. So one. So this is now a one damage. Uh, ten dealing one damage. Tough one. But tough uh, one. the on is tough, so does not get any damage at all. Jam activates her second archer just to reload, and I will activate Itsunagi to stand up and make a melee attack. Minus two, so I'm dealing two damage. Modifying. Plus the modifier, which is a three, plus one, four. Mm-hmm. So minus one, tough one. So again, the Oni shrugs off. It survives! The swords. That's four plus two. Four plus two. So get passing through the road gives you a two inch move, forcing my Bushi to turn and face his assailant, and we're now going to go into a melee exchange. Camouflage too, you know? Okay, so I lot my dice this way, and that's attack, green is attack. So two defense, and I have a seven, what will that be? I win my defense and deal two damage. So two damage plus Zero, so deals uh, two damage and poison one because he has a poison sword. So for my activation, my well, my back is turned to the to this other guy here that can charge. So I'll activate the temple bushi, move around the base, still in base contact, go around here. If you're leaving the zone of control, there's a melee, which you need to check. Uh, you have to allocate more to defense, at least as much as defense. Then. Okay, yeah. So I'll just move and angle it. This is the side, you know? So I'll, until here, I can. Mm-hmm. There. So until there. 
so that I don't leave the zone of control and I will make a melee exchange. Okay, so we will now allot our dice. Charge, that was a charge a while ago, or no, was no, it the no. move? Okay, okay, so I'll let my dice this way, and two on defense, so we make the roll. I am a six, five, I am one up, deal one damage. One damage plus, minus one deals no damage. Okay, that sucks. Okay. Bushy will charge. No problem. Okay, reaches. So he's... I will have to turn, yeah, to face you. I am ganged up. And I will spend my two key to make me lightning reflexes. Asp strike. So I will strike first. Okay. So I'm going to go balls out with my attack dice. I'm striking first. She has one defense and I hope it's a one. And the roll of two. Six. Defense of six. She makes it. And she deals five. total of uh, five damage combo. and uh, combo attack. So five damage plus the modifier. Okay. So yeah, so we will just fix that. No problem, but I think five is enough to just outright kill me without having to do any combo attack. So uh, Mr. Boss Out Guy here is killed. For my last activation, I will declare that my Cloud Walk Guy, her, uh, this guy's snare cannot affect me and go into base contact there. I have to reach 5 inches, and I do. So Chiyo goes right here to perform a melee exchange. I will go all on attack. All defense. 2 on defense. Let's see what happens. Please. Seven. I have a 7. 7. It's to 7, so I'm zero. dealing 0 damage. <laughs> but I won the tiebreaker, so I hope... This you is. Need I, need a, I need. I need an eleven, 11 to deal one damage. To deal one. Uh, no. <laughs> Three guys versus one oni. Four. Four guys. Four guys versus one oni. Oni dodges. And the oni is standing tall and proud. And I am out activated by the bakemono, so it's now all jams moves. Not mm. shooting. That is a. Bushi, yes. Bakemono Bushi, and we'll charge uh, Chiyo. Okay. I am ganged up and exhausted, so I only have one dice to either defend myself or risk an attack, but I will just do this. And two on attack, one on defense. I make a three. That is a seven, so deals base of four damage plus modifier. Yes. That is a charge. Nine, the 11. That's enough That's to kill. Yeah. Okay, even without any other tech, Chiyo is killed. Generate one. Generate one to the to the common pool, and that is the end of turn two. Okay. Is, okay, so after all that uh, Bakemono Savage Wave, start of the turn sequence. He does his honest rage thing, and he does his stun thing, and of course he is continuing to stun Itsunagi. And we roll now for the opposed initiative. I have only one dice. He has she has future sight. Two dice, and she Six. wins initiative. And of course, for her first activation, she is going to activate the big guy here to hit the uh, envoy, who is Itsunagi. We have uh, the Oni ganged up, however, Itsunagi is stunned. I spend my 2 key on feint, so I get to reroll one of her defense dice. If ever she does have defense dice, I have allotted mine this way. And no defense dice, because she went all on attack. So I'll roll my defense first. So I am a 3. 6, 7, 8. And I'll use my pro S melee. Became worse. <laughs> I'm now dropped to a 2. I'll ask you to reroll that 6, please, with my uh, dodge ability. That's not a defense. Oh, that's an attack, attack yeah. dice. Dodge, dodge. Reroll yeah. the attack dice. Yeah, dodge. So I have dodge, and she now has a 6. Oh, what is this? 7. Five, five, six, six, seven. Oh, yeah, 5, 6, 7. So 5 in. Okay, I think uh, Itsunagi is killed. Even if he roll, even if she rolls double ones, Itsunagi is killed. Does not matter. Mm -hmm. That's uh, a six. Zero. He is killed. 
I'll activate Matsunagi and strike against the Oni. I spent key, uh, giving myself brutal two, total of brutal three now. I'm going all on attack. All on She's defense. doing all on defense. Let's roll. I am a total of eight. Seven. Seven, so I am one in. Uh, plus three, so four in. Plus my modifier. Plus uh, seven, because I have Zero. a no dachi, so three in. Because mm -hmm. she has, uh, her tough. character has tough one, so I deal three damage. And, six. and please take two poison. So three damage and two poison. So at the end of the turn, uh, you will get an additional two points of damage. So one of the Bakemonos charges with a surprise attack, and I have to turn, and I'm considered uh, ganged up there. I did not. Uh, I did not spending anything. Uh, armor. Bakemono can spend. Are you spending anything on uh, key? No. Nothing. Okay. All on defense. All on attack. To attack, to defense. Let's go. I am a five, six. I will use my prowess and hope that this becomes a five or a six even. Let's see what happens. And still a five. So one in. One in plus six, nothing. One. Six, nothing. Armor two nothing. becomes minus one, so nothing. Ah, so six minus. Minus four, minus one. Yeah. Minus four, minus. Uh -huh. So, however, that removes my activation and it did its job. For my turn, I'll activate Satoshi and make a sim simple melee exchange against the Oni. I spent key, uh, increase my dice pool to three, uh, sorry, to four. Four dice and two on defense. Let me clear up the board here and let's roll. I'm a six, seven, eight. Versus and a six. versus a six, so oh. I'm two up. Minus one. Minus one. Uh, spear plus two brings us up to a five. Still minus one. One damage. Tough one. So deals again. No damage to the Oni. So the other Bushi makes a charge against my ganged up and exhausted uh, Masunagi, bringing me down to one dice. I'll just roll one on defense. Nothing really much to do. I have two. I have no so we remove this two. And I'm going for two dice. I now have two dice. One attack, one defense. Okay, he's going on three attack. Defense of two. Seven. Seven. We'll be dealing five. So do I re-roll my attack or let's re-roll my defense? I need a better. So by one. So deals four damage to me plus your modifier. It's a combo. I am... Uh, it's a combo attack. Okay, so first one. I'm armor two, so it negates your charge of plus two. Six, six, so zero. so I get two damage. Tama, no? Yeah. So I get two damage, then make your combo attack. On a four. Uh, on a two. So two. Oh, wait, wait, wait. That was uh, up four. So take four. For the first take one. four, okay, yeah. So uh, take and four, correction. Take and four on the first attack. On a two. Okay, and next attack is on a two. Minus one. Take one. Take one and Matsunagi's killed, he only has five life. Okay, so situation is I only have Satoshi left and uh, he has killed my VIP first while his VIP is still standing there. However, they have to leave so they'll have to concede. <laughs> so because they are conceding, uh, I think Ito wins this game. Cheater, only one activation left.